Hey guys, this is Jeremy from FLST. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a free email list with MailChimp. And we're going to cover a couple of things. I'm going to show you how to set up a generic sign up form, how to put it on your website, and then how to send your first campaign to your subscribers. So let's jump in. All right, so here we are at the MailChimp website and you can see at the top right corner there is a button that says sign up for free. So we're gonna click on that and it's gonna bring you to this page. And this is where you're going to enter your email address. And the username that you'll use for the account. And then create a password for it. All right, so then you'll come to this screen and it tells you to go and check your email. All right, so then if you check your email, you should have an activation message like this. So you'll jump over and you'll just click activate. All right, so it'll, it'll bring you to this confirmation page and you'll confirm that you are not a robot. And you're gonna click the free plan and say complete. And you're going to enter your name first and last. Click OK. And then put in the name of your business. You have a website. OK. And continue on going to ask you some more questions and this is where you'll fill in a mailing address and you have to have this because otherwise it's considered spam if you don't do that or you have to have a physical address or an alternative to the physical address in order to be able to use a mailing list it's just part of the laws that are at least in the United States for sure so once you fill this out go and click continue and then tell them if you have any um, email list subscribers already. I'm going to say no in this situation. Continue on. I'm not going to connect any of the uh, social media just yet. And I'm going to say not right, right now to this. And you can go through this if you want. And I'm going to not do all this. So now it brings us into the content studio. Uh, and this your account is officially set up. So the first thing that you could do is start designing your first email. You can add it, contacts or you can send your first email. If you come up here, campaigns is where you actually send the emails. So you can come in here and design your emails by saying regular campaign, automation, whatever you're trying to do. Um, you can create automations. You can do templates. Um, and I don't, right now you don't have any templates as a, a free user. Um, and then you go into your audience and this is where your contacts are going to be. Um, reports will be where once you send your campaigns, it'll show you who's opened it and how well that's doing. Um, and you can also do the same thing for automations and landing pages. And then in content studio, I think is where you actually bring in files so you could upload graphics like a, a header file, um, or you could upload photographs that you want as a part or things like that. So that's the basic gist of getting set up with an account for free. All right, so here's what we're going to do now. We're going to actually look at what you have to do to set up the forms that you would use on your website. So you'll go over to this section right here called audience. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're going to come down to this drop down menu and you're going to go to sign up forms. And we're going to go just into the generic form builder first. So we're going to select this. We're going to look at the sign up form. And this is the default form that uh, comes with MailChimp. Um, and a lot of times you don't want to try to do this much information. So you want to get rid of some of these different things. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to get rid of this address field and I'm going to get rid of the phone number field 
and some other things. So the way that you do that is you click on this and then you type in delete. Make sure you put it all in caps so that it confirms it and then it'll take it away. Um, and the same thing here for the phone number. Delete. I don't want their birthday. Let's delete that as well. And we'll get rid of the last name as well. So now we just have a basic generic form. And now we're gonna go back to sign up forms. We're gonna go to embed form. So we're gonna take this code, you click on it once and it'll highlight everything in pink. So you're gonna hit control and C, to copy it. And then you'll have to go into the back end of your um, WordPress or whatever website tool that you're using and paste that in where you want this form to show up. All right, so let's go ahead and log in to WordPress. And I'm just gonna show you a quick example by going into the posts. And I'm gonna jump into this hello world post and I'm gonna show you how to add that form into this post. So again, we're gonna come back over here, click, make sure it's all highlighted, control and C to copy it. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to add a block. Um, yeah, so I want custom HTML. If you don't see it right off the bat, just write that up. When you do that, it'll bring that in as HTML. So you just pasted everything that you just copied from this side over to here. Okay, and then we're gonna update that. And then I'm gonna go over and control click on this to show you what that looks like when it's loaded up. So now you see that in this post, it has the hello world and the welcome to WordPress, it has this line, and then below it, that code has inserted this form. So that's a super simple way to actually embed the subscriber form onto your site. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and set up our first email to our subscribers. And to get there, you're gonna click on campaigns. And campaign is really email in MailChimp. That's just their word for calling it um, an email is campaign. So we're going to create our first campaign. We're going to go up here. We're going to say create. We're going to select email. We'll say it's a regular and then you give the campaign a name. I'm just going to call this one test for right now. And then you click begin. And this is just your name for it. Nobody else is going to see that. So you come into here. Um, you will go down to the design email and for right now we're just going to select this first one it's called sell products and we're just going to change this a little bit um, so we'll come into here it's loading it up so in here you can put in a logo if you want to do that you can change this title so let's change this to Get ready to head into the studio. Maybe you're giving an update about an album or something. For this one, I'm gonna simplify it. Uh, you can put images in here and it shows you what size image over here that you should use. But for this one, I'm not gonna put any images in it. I'm gonna also get rid of this button for right now, as well as this section down here. So all we're gonna have is like a little logo title and then we're gonna modify this. So I just made a super simple email here. Uh, so I'm gonna save and close that. And then let's just pretend that I'm done. So I'm gonna hit save and close. And now it's gonna kick me back out to here. Um, so I'm gonna add the recipients. I'm gonna choose the audience, which is gonna be my email list. And I want it to go to all of them. So I'm gonna save that. And then the last thing that we have to do is add a subject line. All right, 
So I just put a basic email list or email subject line. You could just save this as a draft if you wanted to put together maybe a series of emails. Um, so you could say finish later and now you have this down here. So you could go ahead and prep a whole bunch of different emails that you wanted to send out maybe over the course of a week or a couple weeks and you'll have that there ready to go. Um, but you can also just come in here and just go ahead and send it to the list if you want. Well guys, I hope that was helpful for you to find out a couple of the free tools that you can use to set up a mailing list uh, for your music career. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll be sure to try to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe and like it and click the bell for notifications and I will see you in the next round.